I didn't know how to start this video, so I just blew bubbles. And I don't know why this is in my bathroom. Hmm. Hi. Hello. I am in my bathroom. This is a attempt on the Vogue inspired everyday makeup, so <laughs> let's hope this works out. So yeah, let's get started. I have my makeup kit. Oh my god, I'm dummy. Love it by the school now. Whoops. Today I'm gonna be showing you my everyday makeup for work. The real one. When I have five minutes to get ready for work, this is what I do. Very messy. As you can see, my skin isn't its best. I have a real bad pimple here and it's making my whole face sore. Anyway, I have really dark under eyes. So I'm going to be using a color corrector, the orange one, and I'm just going to dab it under my eyes. Next, I am taking a liquid highlighter. I actually like to put this on first under my foundation or BB cream rather than on top, just so it looks more of a, like a natural look rather than a thing that we highlight. Goodbye. This is the Color It Shimmer Tint in Crystal Prism. blend it out with my fingers because um, it's the best tool <laughs> or maybe because I don't have any other like tools so. oh well for every day I do not use foundation I use a BB cream this is the miracle finish intense cover from the face shop um. Just dab it. Dab it. Ow. Just dab it all over my face, except for my under eyes, because I'm going to be putting concealer there. So I don't want it to be too thick under the eyes. But as you can see, I look very pale. I look like a ghost. Yes. But. Um, that cream oxidizes throughout the day and it becomes a real good match. While I wait for you know the cream to really sink into my skin, I'm going to do my brows. I don't really do drastic brows anymore. It's more of the, you know, like just pencil it in any sparse areas. So you just, whoa, I look real crazy. <laughs> so you just wanna like outline your brow. Follow the natural shape and then brush it out with a spoolie. See the difference? I mean, it looks kind of put together compared to this one. Oh my god. Sorry, I've got a sweaty upper lip. Uh, you can see I still have some blemishes. I'm going to cover that up now with some concealer. I don't really use powder products anymore. I either use tints or balms. I've been using this lip and cheek stain for a while now and you can see it's it's pretty loved because there's a big hole in it. Because I'm not going to contour, I'm just going to put them on my cheekbones. Now it's time for the under eyes and I use the same concealer. And I go over the eye as well just to have like a good base for the eyeshadow I'm going to be putting on. Ta 
Now you can see a huge difference. I am no longer Panderized. I really don't like that matte dry look, but I still want to set my under eyes because they do crease no matter what concealer I use. So I'm just going to take a loose powder and a small dry sponge and pack that under my eye. And if I have any excess, I will go on my nose and around my mouth. I don't know if you guys can notice, but I'm sweating <laughs> so bad. Okay, so after setting my eyes, I will move on to eyeshadow. I'm going to take this really sparkly orange and oh my eye. And then under. So for eyeliner, I usually just do it on straight with a pencil, but because um, this is my eyeliner, I will just use a little brush to apply it. If I am feeling up for it, I will use a mascara. Putting on mascara is like the longest thing to do in my makeup routine. That's why sometimes I just skip it and don't wear mascara. I usually do not set my face, but sometimes I like to use just a nice illuminating powder. This is actually a highlighter palette, but I like to just push it all around and set my face. It doesn't just set the face but it keeps it with a nice one. And then my last step is a lipstick. So I'd like to use either a tint or a moisturizing sort of normal lipstick. So I'm using this tint and an erase wipe. Now time to get dressed and out the door. So this is the final look. Just an everyday, simple, you know, quick and easy, out the door kind of look. And yeah, I really hope you like it. So see you in the next video.